Oh, hi there. It has been a while. It's been about a month since I've driven the car, and that's because of my alternator. Um, I had a good idea to replace the bushings in the alternator because it was just all flopping around, and lots of you noticed that in the videos, and it seemed like a good time to take care of that, make sure that everything was okay, but um, it went a little bit sideways on me. All right, so here's what happened. I got, I ordered these bushings just from the local parts counter, and these are the uppers. Uh, these are the stock uppers. And I thought I could use these in both the upper location and the lower location, but they are different sizes. So I couldn't get my hands on the lowers. So what happened, I had to order these. Um, got these from Blunt Tech. Uh, they're a urethane, I'm pretty sure. They came with uh, the upper mounts. Let's get these out of the bag. So they're a nice hard durometer. I got some lower mounts, which is good. And it came with the alternator um, adjustment bushings as well. Okay. The other thing I got was this new adjustment um, bracket. So I got this from a member on the FAQ that's making these. You can search these up pretty quick and they're not too expensive. And it's got a little geared wheel here to help you adjust back and forth. So there's that. And you can see why I've had to do all this and here's the reason why I couldn't just abort the refresh and get the car back on the road is because my bushings were actually mush. So they're done. Right, so it's a pretty easy job. I'll get more details on what the parts are as we put it back together. But for now, um, I'm just gonna have to kind of clean up my alternator here the best I can without getting dirt and debris in it. I might try to wire brush it a bit and clean up the bushings. Then we'll start popping bushings and stuff in and get it all back together on the car. That's all set. It's, uh, oops, shouldn't do that. Pretty clean. I mean, I love the way these uh, old aluminum castings shine up. They kind of have that old glean to them. I'm not gonna go much crazier than that. Uh, this works for me, and I really just wanna get back on the road, so. All right, so I've gone ahead and cleaned everything up. Um, a little bit boring, so I didn't film all of it, but essentially we got few sets of bushings here. We have, we'll do the bushings first. We have, I think this is the upper bushing. And the kit for that is going to take a C-clip. We got the lower bushing. And these things here. So let's start with uh, the lower here. All right, so this should be pretty simple. I should just be able to squeeze these together. I'll see if I need a clamp or anything. This guy here, oh, it's on real nice. It's gonna squeeze in like that. And this one will come on the front. And squeeze these together. I think I'm going to need a C-clamp, so I'm going to get one right now. Ta-da! So I'm probably going to have to get a socket to go over this here so I can squeeze it all together. Looks like an 18 millimeter will be perfect. All right, so this isn't going the best. I'm not able to get this all the way through. 
to connect with the C clip. Just seems like everything's a bit too tight. So I'm gonna try the other side for a second here first and see if that goes together. If not, then I might trim this down a bit, I guess. Let's find out. Wow, these are these urethane ones are really having trouble squeezing them out to get the C clip on. I might have to end up taking this to a press to get these to go because I don't I don't have enough I don't have enough torque in my arms to get this to close. This is weird. This is one of those jobs now that should be super simple and I don't know what's going on. Because even if I had a press, I don't know how I would get enough force to be able to get the snap ring in. i try one more time here. I mean, I've got like a whole more millimeter to go before I can even think about getting that snap ring on in place. All right, I'm going to have to think about that. So I probably should have bought new little snap rings, but I forgot. Um, so I'm going to reuse these. Hopefully I can get them on. We'll see. Yeah, I think I got it. So not uh, out of the box fitment, but it'll work. I'll just do the other side now and then I can put it in the car. So there you go, super simple install, just uh, pop them in, pop them in your car, right? Um, yeah, so there we go. Um, after all that ordeal, I can get it back on the car and I'll be driving again, which will be uh, nice. Here we are, ready for install. So, got it all together. Um, in case you're wondering what I did um, on the upper bushing, I ground it flat on the front of the casing and on the back I let it protrude by about 2.75 millimeters so you know between two and a half and three millimeters is where you want to be and that gets it so all of the pins come together I mean all said and done if you knew that you had to grind these or sand them when you got them it'd be an easy install so uh, just note that you're probably gonna have to adjust these there's no other bushings on the market that are as good as these, and I think the stock ones are becoming unavailable. So, I mean, Blunt's got those. They're pretty good. Um, on the back side, I just ground them flush both sides. So just press them in and then flush it out to your casing, and it'll fit. First thing I'm going to do is get this stay uh, mounted 
where it mounts to the block. Uh, I got this um, from a board member on the FAQ, like I said before, named Themis. If you're interested in him, I think he's got more to sell. But it's pretty cool. It's just got some extra teeth there um, to help you adjust it. But got some extra factory bushings, and we'll put it all together. So I'm just going to tighten this up so that it'll hold position and then at the end I'll tighten it right up. So I want to be able to have that sit right there. I can tighten it up after once the alternator is all in place. Oh, my poor radiator. All right, there it is. What's actually super cool about this uh, adjuster is that it uh, tensions the belt as you tighten the nut to snug everything up. So it just kind of naturally finds a good tension. It's pretty neat. So you just take this 19 millimeter. Crank it a bit tighter. Feel the belt tension. Well, that's nice. I should be able to tighten everything up. Oh, okay. Uh, the rest of it's pretty self-explanatory. You're just tightening up nuts and bolts. So I'm going to do that, uh, get the cameras out of the way so I can put the battery back in and then fire the car up and I should be uh, able to go for a spin. Um, this is one of those jobs that just kind of went sideways on me and didn't quite fit right, but minor adjustment and it goes together and all of a sudden I got the alternator on the car and without anything tight, it's already, it's already sitting there pretty stiff. I know that you can see the alternator dancing around in any of my old videos, so. Great. Button it all up, go for a drive. <laughs> 